Star Wars is a franchise full of fun characters and full of some awesome lightsaber battles. Like, like, like look at that. That, that! That's awesome right there. That's awesome. So a franchise like this will never go dark and scare little kids to the point they can't sleep at night. Right? Introducing this Star Wars survival horror game based on the comic book titled Death Troopers which tells a story about how the Galactic Empire was trying to unlock immortality. But unfortunately, they found that the hosts infected with the disease were killed by the virus, attacking the tissue of the hosts and turning them into the undead. Those infected with the virus usually die and are reanimated by the disease. Their bodies become extremely decomposed as the virus attacks the tissue of its hosts and causes them to attack anything that is alive and breathing. The virus itself is capable of communicating with itself, giving those infected by it a form of hive mind and enhances their power and endurance surprisingly well. They also have enough intellect to pilot ships and even use weapons like blasters. This is no regular zombie. These zombies are smart enough to trick you and would do everything they can to eat you. We are on the planet Endor, Moon of Tana. We follow in a lone soldier until we see something that no one should have seen. We start to see a ship that is damaged, heading to the planet Endor. If only they knew to turn back, but unfortunately, they crash landed. Irreversible damage. Primary circuits okay. Negative motor functions. Irreversible damage. Primary circuits okay. Negative motor functions. We start to explore, but then we see our brothers hanging. The music boosts up, and we have no choice but to continue exploring this deadly forest. We then see one of our brothers pointing to a blaster at their head. What's up guys? Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it takes me hours to work on these type of videos. So make sure you can just subscribe. It's free and it helps out the channel off a lot. Anyways, let's get back into it. We take a breather, but then we decide to arm ourselves with a weapon. 
Now let's stop here right now. Hold on, let's stop right here. Why do we have mags? Why do we have ammo? What type of sorcery is this? Next thing you're gonna tell me is that I need to rub my lightsaber the right way to turn it on. But anyways, we see the undead coming towards us and we decided to end them. Now, as we explore this game, in some odd way it reminds me of Dead Space. It's probably because it's in space and it's the only other horror game I can think of that's in space. But another thing to note here, this virus does have a name. It's called the Black Wing. Like I said earlier, it was supposed to make people immortal, but diving into more of the lore behind the Black Wing project, we actually start to see that it started to be used as a weapon for the Empire. But this doesn't explain how the virus got to Endor. Now we found a base, but we needed a code to get inside. We searched around until we seen a message written in blood. Our robot ally is still guiding us through this horrors and told us to use that code to get in the base. When we open the door, there's nothing but dead bodies on the floor. We had to adventure in, almost like someone was pulling us towards this direction. Without no weapon, nothing to defend myself, I started to get goosebumps on my arms. My robot friend started to tell me more lore about what's going on here. I've been researching what's going on here. I think it's the same thing that happened to the crew of the Imperial ship, Perch. It's very interesting. Due to a breakdown, the ship is forced to stop. They find an abandoned Star Destroyer, the Vector, and decide to inspect it for spare parts. The Vector was completely deserted and seemingly destroyed, and inside was a threat far greater than anyone expected. A virus. The whole crew was infected, they all died. But in reality, none of them were dead for long. They all came back to life as beasts thirsting for human flesh. The ship was found some time later by a lone explorer who unfortunately did not return. Now the ship should be adrift here in the outer rim. The virus is spreading, and it's here too. It seems this virus all started on a ship, possibly the one in the comics. But yet again, we are alone. But luckily, we found a weapon to hold us together. But yet again, this weapon uses ammo like- Like, come on! Why is this weapon using ammo? Who's doing this? The sounds in this game really has me feeling uncomfortable at times. Like, take a listen. The sounds are making reminds me of Half-Life. Are these soldiers asking for help by chance? We kept on exploring until we found something that can help us call for help. Oh man! Stand by. I tried to communicate with the nearest command center. I found a connection. It's a base on Kefbur, one of the moons nearby. There's a lot of interference. For those of you just tuning in, 
mobs of what have been described as bloodied corpses have been seen marching throughout downtown. Reports of walking dead are coming in from around the tri-state area. Stay in your homes and lock your doors. Do not trust anybody. Folks, please bring whatever supplies you can. We are in dire need of food, water, clothing, batteries, flashlights, weapons, and ammunition during these trying times. Evacuation efforts to the City of the Living are well underway. We have a situation here at the Jared Smith Theater. Please, anyone coming here should be extremely... Angela! <coughs> There is no hope for calling for help. We need to get off this planet and never come here again. Our ally said there's a hangar close by. We can use the ship and get odd out of here. We got tossed in with a bunch of the undead. We tried to gather more ammo, but unfortunately they got to us. But it's not over yet. It was time to check out what happened before this virus reached Endor. We follow another stormtrooper. We we're sent here to see what's going I'm on. Almost there. I found the Star Destroyer. There's been no communication from this team for quite some time. The ship looks abandoned. We try to see what's going on here. Is this... Is the whole team dead? We explore the corridors, and what happens next sends fear down our heart. <laughs>
brother, standing there covered in blood. Without question, we shoot him down because good soldiers follow orders. We end up being swarmed with hordes of the undead. We try to shoot, but our blaster was overheating. Okay, I guess now we don't need ammo anymore. Or, like, be consistent! <laughs> but we had a timer above our screen. We need to survive five minutes, but what happens in five minutes is not what you expect. After we survive the five minutes, we've seen something that can bring any Star Wars fan in fear. I want it, gotta make to myself a promise